She lived a long and full life. May yeah. she rest in peace. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, this weekend, we have some good news. Finally, we're seeing some yeah. milder temperatures. Yeah, absolutely. A big change of pace, not only now, but in our extended outlook Ooh, as well. So I like that. I'll get to that in a little bit. But <laughs> let's show you kind of where we've uh, where we've been so far this April. It's been a pretty cold month. The only exception, the 12th through the 14th, where we really had that nice stretch of temperatures, uh, 74 to 80, back to 79. Uh, 13th, where we had that 80 degree temperature first time since early October and we are well below where we should be about 5.7 degrees below our average here in the month of April and in fact temperatures feeling more like mid to late March rather than where we should be this time of the year should be in the low to mid 60s as we approach the end of April and then heading in to early May but let's take a live look outside on our Groover roofing inside and traffic camera seeing that beautiful hue of red there looking over the eastern horizon as the sun peaks its head over the eastern horizon but a few clouds around well that will remain throughout the morning hours and throughout the majority of the day high pressure is overhead this will continue to move off towards the east. There is some rain off to the west and this will track east uh, later on uh, as we head towards Monday and then even towards Tuesday afternoon. High pressure is going to do a good job not only today but heading into tomorrow and even Monday keeping the majority of clouds away. But it is still rather cold outside. Temperatures in the mid to upper 20s across the Mahoning and Shenango Valley. Right now that wind calm and it's going to be variable throughout the day up to about maybe 5 or 7 miles per hour. And then as we head throughout the day temperature wise we will remain with that partly sunny sky, but temperature wise mid morning is going to be about 41 degrees. So, chilly morning, maybe you're heading out early for the Youngstown Flea in downtown Youngstown. Federal frenzy later on today might need an extra layer, but highs today a little bit better than yesterday. In fact, about five or six degrees better than yesterday, 55 at the airport. So, we'll be in the mid to upper 50s. And then, as we head towards the night, temperatures fall back once again. And we'll wake up tomorrow morning with temperatures in the, uh, the mid 30s, right around 33 or 34 degrees. Well, if you're into the astronomical side of things like I am, you'll be treated to an astronomical sight as you, uh, we go out Sunday morning. The Lyrid meteor shower is going to peak Sunday morning about 10 to 20 per, per hour. And of course, you're going to want to find a dark spot to let your eyes adjust for a few minutes. And you'll be able to see that great sight. And of course, if you have, uh, if you get any great pictures, send them in weatherpicks at WFMJ.com. Quickly looking at the extended outlook, we're going to take a few more shots of colder air in our long range. And while there is a ridge of high pressure sitting up off to our west, we'll continue to see kind of these uh, troughs aloft continue you to move through this will kind of dump, uh, dip temperatures into the oh the mid to upper 50s and maybe low 60s when so it's not going to be rather cold uh, but it's just going to be cooler really in our 10 to 14 day outlook and of course we have that chance for a shower Tuesday through Friday. Wow, look at that. No 40s for the highs. I love no it. No 40s. Yeah, absolutely. We deserve this, really and truly. Now, Andrew <laughs>